What's going on everyone? It's Justin here and I'm really excited to be back in New York City for another luxury condo tour and it is the 520 West 28th Street by Zaha Hadid. This is a building that I've walked by so many times along the High Line and is one of the most beautiful buildings in my opinion. It's so creative, the curves, the architecture on the outside and I've always wondered what does it look like inside and today I want to give a huge thanks to Sirhan for allowing us to check this unit out, show you guys around some of the design features as well as the amazing amenities in this building. This Zaha Hadid special is truly unique and we're standing in the 42 foot living room right now in a 3840 square foot unit that has four bedrooms and four and a half bathrooms with all these bespoke finishes, seamless designs that embrace curves, minimalism and is really the perfect place to have a beautiful New York condo art gallery. So let's go ahead and talk about the living room, give you guys a bit of a tour and show you guys some of the bedrooms kitchens, material choices, and also take some time to show you guys the amazing amenities that are truly unique of their own, including the lobby itself, which is just something that feels like a tech or like a futuristic campus as soon as you walk in. So this view right now is a very long view into Chelsea. Chelsea is one of my favorite neighborhoods in New York City with amazing food, great shopping, and just being able to walk along the High Line starting from Hudson Yards it's just an amazing view. There's so many buildings along this stretch that I want to check out at some point, but this is one that truly stands out. You can see the way the owners have this laid out throughout this 42 foot living room is furniture that is segmented into all different zones that embrace different elements of style. You have the couch on the back here, the curved walls that you get to appreciate around, and you also see these little divots on the roof that channel all the way throughout the back that show you the amount of length and depth and as soon as you take a look out the window here, you see the curve that goes around this 198 square foot terrace while also being able to see the curvature around the corner suites of the building. It is really unique to be in this corner of the building specifically and just high enough so people can't really look into the unit, but you can sit and enjoy the ambience and foot traffic of the High Line. These floor to ceiling frameless windows are just incredible. And with any New York City condo at this caliber, it really is the main feature that you look for. And to be able to head out into this terrace right now, just go ahead and press the button and it will open itself up. So as we walk out of the grand living room, we're welcomed by the 198 square foot outdoor terrace. It sits on the corner of the building and you're gonna see this curved glass that wraps all the way around that shows you the unique shapes of the building as it wraps around the corner as well. I really think this is the best view of this entire creation because you're able to just look out to the Chelsea neighborhood and High Line while people walk around their daily commute and there are so many people just taking pictures of this incredible Zaha Hadid design every single day and I was definitely one of those people and to be able to stand here and take a look at this is just truly unique and I think the best part of living in the heart of New York City is to be able to just sit back and enjoy your surroundings quietly in a crazy city. So as we make our way to the back of the living room, here is where you host your friends for a nice dinner while well, you have this large inspirational quote on the back, a piano, but I think the best part about it, beyond being able to look through this art gallery of a living room, is this cornered piece of curved glass that just rounds off the entire unit. Curved glass being the singular piece is just so unique and it really embraces the view of this unit itself while also being able to see the curvatures of the external metal as well. So as you make your way down the hallway, you're gonna notice that Zaha Hadid really embraced elements of the exterior facade and brought it inside. There's just so much modern minimalism here and small details that are perfectly balanced out. And one of the areas that is seen is throughout these gallery walls. You have these glossy curved walls that embrace the curve of the shapes of the outside, but also the curved glass that round off the corners of the unit as well. It just really shows the line work and the elements that make it more than just a simple hallway. On top of that, you're gonna notice the beveled corners on the bottom of this wall that travels into the kitchen, but also the seamless baseboards as well. And these are small details that as someone who loves interior design noticed right away. And I just love how this unit is essentially a slate that allows you to express yourself with your art collection or elements of pieces that you enjoy yourself. These walls actually have a specific purpose and that is the fact that they're gallery walls. 
You can see the wire, or you can't see the wire, that is hanging off the top and allows art to seamlessly hang throughout. And the whole purpose is to be able to place pieces of art in your collection throughout this entire wall as soon as your guests walk in. So as we make our way into the kitchen, it's essentially a private suite in its own wing of the unit, which I've noticed a lot in New York City condos is the fact that it is kind of segmented in its own aspect, but it also embraces elements of design throughout the entire building that make it very characteristic to the specific unit and design. These are boffy cabinets and they're very nicely integrated and seamless in a way that is very similar to the design style that I like in some of my own personal projects, but the centerpiece of it all is this beveled island. Fully constructed out of stone, you can see the curves transcend throughout with the stone kind of cornering off in a way that is truly unique. And the fact that the island chairs are able to just pop in and have that whole combination go with it is probably one of my favorite features of the kitchen itself. I just think the white contrast with the dark kitchen is great and how it slopes down here has elements from the exterior that have been brought over to the interior once again. The appliances are all Gagano. The color of the kitchen is something that I'm a huge fan of and I think it goes along with the floors of a mid-tone. The walls and ceilings are very white. They bring in a lot of light, especially through the floor to ceiling design. But with just enough contrast in wood tones, the space is still able to feel very cozy and modern at the same time. So as we make our way to the primary suite, we're gonna be talking about some of the tech features of the bathroom. But what I love about this suite itself is the shape of these windows. You're gonna notice these truly unique windows that corner off that rounded design that you see from the outside that is evident in both the primary suite, but also in the home office. The ceiling millwork seen in the living room also carries out throughout this primary suite, and it is just a very cozy suite. What is really cool about the horizontal teardrop pattern throughout is just how it looks in different rooms. It almost brings a gradient of light into the room because where you sleep is gonna be a little bit darker, but as you move your way to the front of the primary suite, it lets a lot more light in. It is something that I really haven't seen before, and honestly, I wasn't sure if I would like it or not, but from seeing it in person, I really understand the design element inside and out. So within the primary suite, you're gonna find two walk-in closets and of course, the primary bathroom. And a cool feature of this bathroom, particularly on the tech side of things, is the electro glass. So just go ahead and press this button right here and you're able to see, you can see through the glass and as you press that button again, it is able to turn it invisible in just a second. The floor to ceiling stone and mirrors is just beautiful and it really showcases the height of these units themselves. This seamless stone from the kitchen design is also brought forward in the primary suite vanity as well in this one piece sink that has been nicely integrated and the stone that slopes inwards into the pockets of the seamless hardware. Tucked in the corner here, we're sitting in the library and home office. You see just the tip of the window that's shown in the primary bedroom carry over here and it just gives you a nice private and cozy space to be able to enjoy a book, watch TV, listen to some music, or get some work done. Having these types of flex spaces in the very corner of a relatively large unit is always nice just to be able to hang out, have some quiet time, and be away from all the noise throughout the rest of the unit. It really does feel like its own zone in the side of the condo. And if you look out to the view here, you'll see the office buildings across and a glimpse of the Highline traffic, which looks amazing in the fall right now. So before we move on, I wanna give a huge thanks to the sponsor of this video, TubeBuddy, which is the ultimate tool for creators out there to be able to analyze, learn more about their content and statistics, as well as optimize their videos in order to improve the performance growth, which results in more views as well as more sponsorships. TubeBuddy is something that I personally had enabled on my channel for quite a few years now, and there are just so many tools that are useful for any creator out there, whether you're just getting started or you've been a creator for quite a while. It has advanced AI tools built for creators that include features such as Thumbnail Analyzer, Keyword Explorer, and it also allows you to learn through showing you data from different types of titles and keywords that you've used in your videos. And the most important part about learning about the YouTube algorithm them is being able to try different things and using all the available data that is given to you by YouTube, but also tools such as TubeBuddy to be able to optimize your videos effectively because a lot of times you create some amazing content, but that is just half of the job. If you guys wanna go and check out TubeBuddy for yourself, I have a code on screen and in the description section below that'll give you 30% off, but let's hop back into the tour. So as you transition from the living room to the bedrooms, you have a butler's kitchen in the middle here to be able to entertain your guests, maybe do some prep, 
but you're also able to tuck it away from the rest of the unit easily with the pocket doors that have been integrated within the gallery walls. It's always nice to have this because sometimes you just want to have some snacks, um, just a place to be able to wash your hands and stuff like that. And being able to close it off and having that option is something that you guys have seen me embrace in as many areas as well. The gallery walls we talk about travel throughout the entire center nucleus of the unit as you have the curved panels and rounded corners go 360 degrees of the way around. There is some functional elements to it as well with the coat closet that is right here. And you also have the washer and dryer that is tucked in over on the other side. And throughout, you can hang your art through the track of the ceiling. And that is why it is called the gallery wall. Having these elements of tech, design, and function integrated within the center portion of the unit just maximizes the functionality, especially in a condo. And I think the most important thing when it comes to functional design in a hosting space is being able to hide as many things as possible. Keeping things out of sight just ensures that you really get a focus on what is important. And in this case, that is the view and also the art that you have in your living room. So before we make our way to the amenities, we cross through the beautiful lobby. And this is where it really made an impact as soon as we walked into this building in the heart of Chelsea. This award-winning building has this futuristic look to it with all these curves, high ceilings, choice of stones, and you can see this textured wall right here with the lighting and everything. It is just so cool. And as someone who's been to a lot of crazy tech offices, this definitely has elements of raw material, curves, and just a very unique approach overall. But now we've taken a look at the lobby itself, let's go ahead and check out some of the amenities. So here we are in the 75 foot skylit pool. You're able to see this pool through the front foyer of the entrance and you look down into this quiet, warm and serene space that gives you enough space to actually swim some laps back and forth. It is truly unique and even the windows down here have the elements of curved glass, triangular finishes and straight lines that have the perfect balance of contrast to it and texture as you can see from the wall here. It really is one of the most important features in the amenity set in a building like this. So here we are in one of the highlights of the amenity suite and that is the private IMAX theater. One of the only ones in New York City. Comfortable chairs, game consoles, you play some movies, but even if you look around in the designs, there is this curved slatted millwork with LED lights accenting around. And from a technology standpoint, you have state-of-the-art audio equipment and also video equipment that gives it that IMAX title. It is relatively small to have your 12 closest friends to be able to enjoy your favorite movie, TV show, or sports match. But yeah, just being able to have this in the building at this caliber is what you would expect out of a building like this. 